Hey guys, Charlie from Tin Man Metalworks here. Uh, today we are going to learn how to, I'm going to show you how to arch text in a circle like this. Uh, the fast and simple way is the easiest way to do it. Super simple once you get the hang of it. Also, if you hang around till the end of this video, give me a like and a share. Maybe consider subscribing and uh, I will show you how to get this file. You can use it to make some money locally. Uh, post it in your Facebook groups, your you know, local yard sales, wherever you sell stuff, and, uh, you know, linemen and electrical workers eat this crap up. So let's jump into it. So I'm just going to go over here to my lineman folder, and I am going to open up this file here. And we are just going to put some text on it, the super fast and simple way. So we're just going to, we're going to pull up our file. I have it sized. Mine's sized to two foot by two foot. So 24 inch by 24 inch. So we're going to grab the circle tool here. We're going to make it a color that we can see. I'm going to make mine green. We're going to hit control, hold control, and draw us a circle out here. Holding control helps it hold the perfect circle shape. So uh, if you have this lock on, it will also lock the aspect ratio so it stays a circle and doesn't turn into an oval. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the circle and we are going to make the circle a little bit bigger than the inside of our thing because our text is going to ride right on the edge of this. So once we have that drawn out, select your inner circle and your outer and your design. Center those. Now that's perfectly in the center. Now we're going to go over here, grab our text tool and just write out whatever text we want in there. Now I wrote out Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. So we are just going to take this, make it the size that we want. Now when you're doing this, you want your text to be, you know, just a little bit inside that circle. I might want mine just a little wider because I want it to take up about half of this. So once you have that sized, now I have mine at 2.5 inches high. That's important to remember because you're going to put text on the bottom and you want it to be the same size. So just remember two and a half. So with your text selected, hold shift and select the circle. Come up here to text and go put on path. That's going to wrap it on that circle. Just grab the circle, click it, click it twice with your mouse button. It'll bring up these little corner arrows. That'll let you rotate this text. Now, a way, an easy way to get this level is to grab, come up here and hold your left mouse button. It'll pull this little measuring arm down. And I just like to pull that down and rotate it until the tips of the letters on both sides are equal. And that, that ensures that it's not crooked. Now, just select your text only. Well, actually, we might want to make this just a little bit bigger. So... Highlight both of those by holding shift, and we are just going to make the circle a little bit bigger. It's just so it looks a little nicer on there. Then we're going to have to grab our circle again, select it twice, and rotate that back till it's, till it's level again. Now that we have that where we want it to, we're going to select the text only. Go up here to Path, and select Object to Path. Now, that's going to allow us to move our circle and leave the text there. So now we need to put text on the outside. So we're going to select our circle. We're going to hold shift. And we're going to draw, pull that circle out till it's just about as big as our inner circle. And we're going to center that. Now the circle is perfectly in the center. We have it the size we want. We're going to go over here. I'm going to select red so that I can see what I'm doing. Come back up here to select the text tool. I'm going to put a name on this. Just write out your text. And remember, our last text was two and a half inches tall. So with that selected, I'm going to go up here and go 2.5. And that's going to make that text two and a half inches tall. So now we're going to highlight our text, hold shift, 
select that circle. We're going to go back up here, or we're going to go to text, and we're going to go put on path. And then, that, so that puts it on the outside. Now we're going to go up here, and we're going to hit this button right here, flipped object flip vertically. So hit that, it's going to put it on the inside of the circle. So deselect everything, grab the circle, click it twice. We're going to rotate, oops. We're going to rotate that back where we want it. So zoom out a little bit. We're going to put that back where we want it. And in order to get that level, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Pull that down. Just align our letters up. Now, with just the text only selected, go back up to path, hit object to path. Now that just leaves it there. Now select your circle that you've been writing on and just delete it. Now your text is there. So with your text selected, hold shift, grab your backing, come up here, difference, do the same thing with this one, hold shift, select the backing, path, difference. Now that's cut out. Now the only thing you need, now the only thing left to do is just bridging your letters. Unless of course you're using a stencil font. But so I'm just going to draw out my bridges here. Easiest way to do this is just rotate it in place. Right click, duplicate, and this will keep them all the same size. Right click, duplicate, and just go around and bridge all your letters. And once you have all your letters bridged, we're just going to zoom out. We're going to highlight all our bridges at the same time. Come up here, go to combine. That turns them into one piece. Then we'll just hold shift, select our backing plate, come up here to path and union. That welded all those in there. Now the only thing uh, that we're going to do now is we're going to grab our node tool and we're going to go in here and erase all these nodes that we created on the bridge. Just so it looks, so it cuts out nice and clean. Now that is ready to send to our table and cut out. Mine is sized at 2 foot by 2 foot, 24 inch by 24 inch, and it's pretty popular. I'm going to leave a couple of these uh, files in the description for free. And uh, if you want to buy the whole file pack, you know, I'll, I'll post that too. Something to keep in mind. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you guys have any uh, ideas or anything that you want uh, to see a video on, just uh, leave it down in the comments. I'll see if I can get to it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.